week we are honoring educators for the endless hours they spend connecting with students, even from a distance. We have loved seeing all they have done. And Gabrielle Hayes has brought us great stories of educators this week. She has one this morning from Sevier County. My name is Deborah Sams. I'm an English as a second language teacher at Sevierville Primary School. I mainly work with kindergarten students and I have 34 years experience teaching in public schools. It's been a big challenge teaching during the pandemic because no one's in the building. Every day that we've given away food bags, I've come to help those days from 11 till two. Right now I'm studying strategies and technology that will help me teach better from a distance. So we do not know what lies on that road ahead this fall. However, we know teachers are lifelong learners and I know that it will be even better than ever. So I look forward to seeing all my friends and my students and families in August. Aw, and we've been asking you to send in your shout outs to your favorite teachers, and we've received a bunch. Shout out to Grace True from Riceville. Thanks to Dawn for sending us a picture of Judy Coleman, Darlene Coffey, and Samantha Lawson, all from Granger County and amazing teachers. And here is a picture of Lorenzo Ortega from Lonsdale Elementary School, also doing an awesome job. We'll have shout outs throughout the rest of the week. We love these. To Miss Wissing from Knoxville, thank you for everything that you do. And we want to give a shout out to Miss Debbie from Knoxville. And thanks to all the teachers out there watching this morning. We'll be right back. Oh, we've been asking for you to send in your shout outs to your favorite teachers. And here's a few we've received. Mr. Gentry from Knoxville. Here is a picture of him. Congratulations, you got a shout out. Here's a picture of Mrs. Collins. She was a teacher of the year at Grand Oaks. Lindsay and her son Deacon say she goes above and beyond for her students every single day. 